How you guys doing? My name is Eric, and in today's video, I'm going to talk about the five most common questions that we get when it comes to the roofing insurance process. Just for reference, down below, we're going to have everything categorized, so you can actually skip ahead and see where the timestamps are for your question. Uh, but moving along, the first question that we get is, what is the insurance looking for? Whenever you call your insurance and they send over an adjuster to your property, what that adjuster is looking for is actual physical evidence of storm damage. What they're going to do is they're going to look all over your roof, your gutters, and everything when it comes to your home to see if they can find any hail damage, any uh, missing shingles from wind damage, any lifted shingles, things that show that storm damage has been present. That's what they're looking for whenever they come to your roof. They're looking for physical evidence that your roof has been compromised because of the recent storm in your area. The second most common question we get is, will my insurance rates go up if I file a claim? The short answer is no. Your rates will not go up if you file an insurance claim. The reason why is when it comes to roofing, if there's storm damage, whether it's hail, whether it's wind, whatever it may be, it's not your fault. It's an act of God, meaning that it was out of your, it was out of your control. That's why you have homeowner insurance. Uh, there's nothing that you could have done to prevent that from happening. It's just happened. And so the short answer is no, your rates will not go up if you file an insurance claim. Now, your rates may go up and if, it, if in your area there's a recent storm damage, even if you don't file a claim or even if you don't have hail damage on your roof, they may go up because if everyone else is filing a claim, then they have to increase the rates. Now, the third question we get is how does the payment process work? So it's pretty simple. It can be confusing, but to break it down to the simplest form, whenever you file a claim and it gets approved, your insurance company is going to send you your first check. Their first check is not going to be the total amount. It's just going to be percentage of the total. And once the work has been completed and your roofing company sends you the invoice, you send that over to your insurance company and then they release the second check, which is the recoverable depreciation. That's the last payment that you're going to receive. So you'll receive two payments from your insurance company, their first check, and then the second check once the work has been completed. The fourth question that we get, which is very common, can I have my deductible covered? The short answer is no, you cannot have your deductible covered, unfortunately. Um, sometimes homeowners tell me that they know a guy named Bobby and he talked to his roofer and he has a deductible covered. Or Samantha, a few years ago, she talked to her roofer and she got partially of it covered. Um, unfortunately, roofers are not allowed to do that. It is insurance fraud and it is a felony. So you have to be very careful with that. Um, I wouldn't recommend a roofer that's going to cover your deductible because you have to follow the rules, you have to follow the law, or else you can't get some jail time. So for that reason, unfortunately, we cannot cover deductibles. It is insurance fraud. Now, what we can do for homeowners, if the deductible is very high and they didn't expect to pay this, we have a payment structure, a payment plan. So you can pay a little bit of it every month until you have the full amount paid. Uh, it's very common and, and it does help for the, you know, because the deductible can be very high sometimes. So I understand you don't have a couple thousand dollars to fork over. So we can do a payment plan so that way um, it's a lot less stress for you as a homeowner. Now, the fifth question is, do I need to get multiple estimates? Yes and no. If you have a roofer that you trust and you have a company that they have a good uh, reputation, they're licensed, they know what they're doing, they're uh, they explain the whole process to you, then go ahead and go with that company. If you're looking for multiple estimates and you're trying to shop for the lowest bid, I wouldn't recommend that. The reason is because let's say your roofing, your insurance company says your roof is covered and it costs $10,000. Let's say you find a guy that can do it a lot cheaper for maybe $8,000. Uh, some guy with the truck, maybe he's not licensed, he's not certified, but you know, that guy can give it for you cheaper. If you, once he sends you that final invoice, the insurance company is going to be like, oh, you saved us $2,000, thank you. But they're not going to give you that money for yourself as a homeowner. So you're, at the end of the day, you still have to pay uh, the deductible uh, as a homeowner and maybe the insurance is going to pay out less. So for that reason, I tell homeowners, don't be looking for the cheapest bid. Don't be looking for the most expensive bid either. Just be looking for a roofer that is professional, that is licensed, that is fair, that can talk to, that can explain the process. And look for a roofer that can give you an estimate and the language that the insurance company is looking for or um, uh, the exactimate. So for that reason, yes and no, it depends for you as a homeowner. But I recommend don't be looking at price when you're looking for a roofer. Be looking at someone who's professional because at the end of the day, you're going to be paying the same amount for your roof, whether you go with a cheaper roofer or not. So why are you going to risk that quality uh, for no reason? Anyways, I hope that kind of helped answer those questions. I know the roofing insurance process can be a little tricky and difficult sometimes. 
If you have any other questions, go ahead and drop a comment down below. I'll, I'll do my best to go out there and answer those questions. And uh, we'll have a link down below for a blog, which will answer these questions a lot deeper in depth. Or if you're in the Houston area and maybe you have an insurance question or you have uh, some storm damage, go ahead and give us a call. We're a local roofing company here in Spring, Texas. We work all over Houston. Our number is 832-458-1602. Whether you want an estimate or you just want to, you know, answer to a quick question, go ahead and give, a, give us a call. We'll be more than happy to help you. Anyways, I appreciate you so watching this video and uh, you guys have a good day. Bye-bye.